I want to continue on the topic of self-esteem. Um, I think that it's very important that everybody uh, evaluates their own place or where they are at times. And I just wanted to continue um, to point out certain things that may assist those who need help in that area. Um, the thing that I wanted to talk about today was um, comparisons and competition. And what I mean by that is that um, people are naturally competitive in certain things. We're competitive in sports. Um, sometimes we're competitive in relationships and, and not only competing for a certain person's love and affection, but um, competing with the actual person that we're in love with. Um, it, it happens uh, at times, unfortunately. And um, making comparisons is just basically comparing yourself to others and measuring your own achievement levels to those levels of someone else that you know, someone you may not know but be on television or, or whatever. Um, now as far as um, comparisons, I really don't feel like a person needs to measure their success or their level of achievement based on anyone else and I'll tell you why because everyone has their own gifts, everyone has their own talents. And some people are naturally gifted in, in sports or music or in speaking or whatever. And I'm the kind of, per I personally believe that everybody on this planet has something that they do extremely and exceedingly well. Um, with that being the case, it's not too healthy to compare yourself to anybody else because there's no measure there's there's no way of balancing if you think someone can do something else better than you and you just don't inherently have it in you to achieve that level of success in that area then that further helps to bring your level of self-esteem down I think the healthier thing to do is to compare yourself to yourself and by that I mean um, if you are struggling in an area or if you are branching out trying to do something why not just compare yourself, let's say, three years ago in a certain area in comparison to how you're doing today in a certain area? And if you do things like that, then you have a healthy balance of knowing if you pro progressed um, or if you have failed. But it all has to do with your own standards. It doesn't have to do with anything else. And that's why also I'm really against standardized testing for children because all children don't learn in the same manner. Um, even when it comes down to certain ethnicities, certain things pick up with some kids that don't pick up with other kids at the same ages and milestones. It doesn't make one child smarter than the other child. It just means that they learn things at a different rate and at a different pace. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that at all, okay? But if you um, take SATs, or other standardized tests, all you have is a national average. And it really, to me, doesn't mean much. Um, what if a person is lower in their English area but happens to be a math genius? Math just comes to them like that. Does that make that person um, a stupid person or a slow person just because they don't grasp the concepts of English in the same manner as you know all of the kids across the country that's you know that's that's a pretty rigid um, standard to hold over anybody's head but um, I suggest those who are trying to boost their self-esteem or you know create new milestones or new goals for themselves to just basically start by putting it down on paper those things or those areas that they think they are struggling in or those areas where they may not be struggling but they want to see some sort of self-improvement. Um, don't make it long, don't make it ridiculous, just start off with maybe mm, three, four, or five things. Um, and then give yourself some time. Nothing happens overnight. So let's say a person wants to um, improve themselves in the way that they are speaking or communicating with others, okay? And they just write that down you have to give yourself an adequate amount of time in order to achieve that. Not, nothing is just gonna you know, happen like that. You just simply become more aware 
of yourself when you're out there doing it and then you know next year year after next you can go back to your list and reflect on it and say wow you know I did improve in this area I'm getting along better with so and so um, I'm learning how to listen to other people's more before I you know start in on the conversation you know how some people can never wait to the end of your sentence they just jump right on it and <laughs> start talking over you um, that is a, a form of communication and listening as well um, maybe they need to I improve on that and then there's some other people who are just dead during a conversation they're like uh-huh okay mm-hmm and you're like uh, come on come come on talk to me <laughs> but um you know don't make it something that is just so unbelievably high that it's not obtainable for you that's that's no good because then you just beat yourself up because you have a goal that you were trying to reach and you made it unreachable okay and then um, it doesn't matter really how much better you've become in a certain area just try to improve a little things at a time and I guarantee you that your own self-esteem just for those little accomplishments and those little milestones will help you to feel better about yourself because it's all about personal reflection and doing the best that you can um, in any given situation now um, to talk about competition there are some people who always seem to not only compare themselves to others but always want to compete with other people as well on on anything it could be something as simple simple as sports or you know if you you talk to them and you tell them something that you received new or or whatever then they have to jump on it well I got something better than that and this is what I got but you know if you have what you have and I have what I have then everybody should be happy for everyone else okay reach for your own goals don't reach for somebody else's stuff okay is 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 that kind of competition that leads to overt jealousy and envy and sometimes getting your ass whooped you know <laughs> just to say it how it is um, people it, it, it's unnecessary you know if you learn to be happy and satisfied with what you have um, then that should be good enough now perhaps somebody has reached something or gotten something that you would like to have but that's not really a competition or saying that you're better than them it's just that oh you saw something it was cute and maybe you might enjoy that item too and you do whatever you can to try to get it I mean that's that's normal you know what I'm saying but when you take it to another level and then you displace some hatred or whatever on a person for having something that you don't then that enters the danger zone okay and the the low self-esteem issue turns into anger resentment rage um, never thinking that um, anything you have or do is good enough um, always thinking that other people uh, think that they're better than you um, it, it seems that people who have those issues always try to displace that issue on someone else if someone is a jealous jealous person they tend to accuse others of being jealous all the time um, it's, it's really kind of uh, funny how that works but I've seen many many cases of that people accuse you of the very thing that they are and that is what's called displacement um, but overall just start very slow and don't you know tax yourself too much don't wear yourself out don't make it such a burden on your shoulders that you know you fall apart while trying to do it it's like um, you know putting yourself on a diet or something like that people making New Year's resolutions they have so much pressure that they placed on themselves I have to do this in a certain amount of time and it has to look this way I have to lose 20 pounds by March or you know I failed and that is not necessarily true anything that you lose between your start date and your finish date is good you know people don't lose weight at the same rate so all I'm saying is make it good and obtainable for you don't stress yourself out too much over it and just give yourself a, a pat on the back for those small things that you've achieved along the way and I guarantee you you'll be on the road to developing um, a lot better self-esteem. So that's what I wanted to say for today and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.